UI. In this video, I will guide you through the example 4 that comes in the Doze UI package, the drawer example. Let's get started. So I just opened this uh, scene and you can do that as well if you go to Doozy, examples, scenes and open E4, drawer. Notice that it is recommended that you view it in portrait mode in 2D mode. So your scene should be in 2D. Let's uh, see where it is. All right. And also we recommend you view it not in landscape, although it can work, but in portrait mode because that is how it was designed. Let's, uh, oh, if you do not have portrait or landscape, just go to file, build settings and select maybe Android or iOS as your build target so you can switch between landscape and portrait modes. All right, let's uh, see it in action. We also have music. All right, and here I just click this button and I see view, next, 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 and next and notice that this is an infinite cycle i can go here as many times as i want and also we have a drawer that you can drag and jump from one to another or you can click this button and it will open or close or yeah And uh, this is the scene. It is another simple uh, example of how you can use a UI drawer as a navigation drawer to jump from one to another and also an infinite loop. And let's see the controller because the graph is the one that uh, controls the flow. Let's see it like this. And what we can see here is that we have a sound node that starts the music. And if I select it, yep, this is the sound, yeah. And then we have the let's start um, view. And you can see if you click next, you go to doozy, next soundy, next nodey, next touchy. And if you click next, it goes way back here. And this is an infinite loop because you can go from one to another. And the drawer, in order for it to jump from one to another, it uses these portal nodes and sends go to start, go to doozy, Go to Soundy, go to Nodi, and go to Touchy Game Events. And we can uh, even test it. So I'm gonna stop the music for this next run so it doesn't bother us. And let's enter play mode so you can see it in action and exactly how it works. So I just started this and I'm in Let's Start. And uh, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Let's open the drawer. And if I click Soundy, it will send the game event go to soundy activate this portal node and jump right here so soundy there you go and if i click uh, touchy again touchy jumped here and if i click escape we'll, we'll use the back back and back so check out the back connection this will light up this connection escape there you go Again, if I press back, this connection will light up and so on. And if I keep pressing back, you will see that uh, it goes, there you go, in an infinite loop. Or if I press uh, the next button, let's see how I can do that from here, come on. So if I click next, you will see how it goes from one to another. Yeah, and again, we can jump to Doozy, Nodi, Touchy, Soundy, and so on. And it does that because the UI drawer that contains these buttons sends game events, these game events. And let me show you where's the UI drawer, drawer canvas. I believe the canvas is set to screen space overlay in this particular example unlike the others that are set to screen space camera. But yeah, that uh, just proves that you can use different types of canvases and the system will work. Let me close this and let me show you the, the buttons. So let's go to the Z. So let's see this button. It has on pointer enter and exit. 
if you remember, we have some animations. And uh, let's see it. Let's open it. So this is the animation on pointer, enter, and exit. And it also has a sound. Let's change the sound and check it out. And this one is, yeah. Yeah. There you go. And like I said, it sends a game event and you can see that on click, we're sending a game event, so that G symbol on trigger. Again, we have a game event, one game event, and here we have go to doozy. And if you remember, let's exit play mode. In our graph, we have go to doozy, the portal node. And when you press that button, it goes here and activates this node. And uh, yeah, that's it. You can play with it and see how it's created. I'm not gonna enter into details on the animations and the way they're set up. But if you look at this graph and also check out how they work, you'll understand in a few minutes exactly how you can create your own scenes that look like this. Okay, thank you.